Excuse me, Bear Bear. Oh. I have to lean in. That's She's okay. Got it way over here. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Some goofball put it up there. What the heck is going on? It's thirsty. Sunsets like a tangerine. Let's find a road we've never seen. Life is short. Make it sweet. I guess so. Good morning. Oh, I guess the Cheers. honeymoon is over. Cheers. Cheers. I love, love you. you. Good morning, everybody. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Like, I haven't already taken 20 swigs off of my coffee already. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, my God. Good morning, everybody. Welcome. It is a Saturday. It is not a travel day. Thank goodness. <laughs> and uh, hopefully the camera is on the right speed. Oh, boy. Otherwise, we will be redoing it. <laughs> it, it should be. No, it's fine. It's fine. You used it earlier this week yeah. just to catch some aviance of the area that we're in. And uh, so it was on regular speed. Yeah. Anyway, thank you all for being here with <sighs> us. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do and make sure to ring the little bell so that you get notifications. Also, please remember to thumbs up and comment and share with other people. Uh, do you want to do the Passport America thing right off the bat and then at the very end? You know what? Just kind we're, of remember. We're going to tell you about Passport America in just a couple minutes. How about that? Okay. All right. All right. So last Saturday we had the camera issue and then we did a live <laughs> in the evening and we had so much yeah. fun. Thank you all for joining in. It was a blast. And, uh, if, having... if you didn't see it, you can go watch the replay of it anytime now. Um, click along the top, the, uh, I don't want to call it an address bar, but the top of the YouTube page, there's all kinds of, there's shorts and lives and playlists, and just click the lives, and it should be the top one, and you can go back and rewatch it. It was a hoot. It really was. Yeah, so, um, I, I'm one that I don't necessarily, never mind. What? You don't no, like to, lives. Right, watching them, unless you, I'm watching it live but it's kind of cool to go oh, back to watch and watch a live a replay and also read the comments yeah. that that are there cuz you can read the chat right mm -hmm. yeah that's that's what i thought i yeah. thought i wasn't just reading comments you so. can read the chat so long as whoever's live it is doesn't do any editing to that video at all i uh, found out the hard way if you go back and try to edit out some music or something like that takes the live chat completely out and all you can do is watch the video and I'm like well that's not good because I went back in to edit something on that live we did last week just because and it took out all the comments so I undid everything that I did and it put them all back so oh, good. the original is there you can go back and watch it good 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 because uh, and when we do the live I try to when I reply to someone, kind of answer their question with the question, yeah. you know, to, yeah. or with their question, yeah. so that other people know what I'm talking about, because it's hard sometimes to keep up with the comments. So anyway, thank you everybody for yeah. joining us. It was joined fun. Us, we don't so. do that many of them, but when we do them, we try to have fun while we're doing it. So yeah, thanks a lot. Yes, appreciate. Thank it. you. It was you that made it fun. Yeah, exactly. You think we have fun by ourselves? <laughs> hey! I shook my head, yes. We oh. do. <laughs> so, uh, Sunday was laundry day. And um, it was funny because when I got into the laundry, there was only one other person in there. And she had like one machine. We are, we are in an RV park. Yes. Right so now. in the laundry room, I yeah. guess I should say. Um, and so I think she had like one machine. Somebody else had some stuff drying. But uh, I get in there and I get my laundry going, and here come all these people in. And the one lady that was already there, she says, what's going on? There's usually nobody here on Sunday. I said, that's what I was trying to count on, but got it all done. <laughs> so um, I might do a couple more just before we leave here, just to make sure that everything's kind of caught up, bears blankets and that kind of thing. Yeah. So, um... Then you and I went for a drive, kind of searching around for another RV park because we only had the three days here. Yeah. So we went driving around looking again at a couple, and a couple were like, 
oh no, that's not going to work. <laughs> not with our, know what I mean, Vern? <laughs> no, it was more of that we wouldn't fit in there. Yeah. In, in some of the spots. And we did kind of find one that was all right. Yeah. And then we just kind of sat outside and enjoyed the sunshine. And I'm sorry for using the S word, the, the long S word. Oh, hello. Excuse me. Um, using the long S word for all the people in Reno, they're getting the short four letter S word. Oh my snow. gosh. I woke up this morning to all kinds of snow pictures on my phone from everybody. There's a lot of snow again in Reno. Sunny in 76 here today. <laughs> yeah. Um, my poor son, he just wants to go ride his motorcycle, his dirt bike, and there's no dirt. It's he all needs, snow. You know what? He needs to buy a snowmobile. Well, there you go. Then he could go riding. But you know what? If he does that, there won't be any snow. He could go riding every weekend. <laughs> <laughs> this this year, anyway, this winter. <laughs> yep. So uh, we have enjoyed the sun. It was supposed to be a lot windier here this week, wasn't it? Because that's yeah. kind of why we had extended yeah. here at the RV park, because it was supposed to be windy. And <clears throat> we didn't want to drive in that and be in that yeah. out there. So we really didn't have any activities planned. Um, so okay. we've kind of been kind of Kick. lazy, doing a little bit of this and a little bit of that. Just, just chilling, not really doing a whole hell of a lot. Yep, so you know, this weekend... It's been kind of nice. Be, be busy be getting busy. some stuff done. Somebody has to get stuff done this weekend. Yes, somebody does. Yeah, not you. <laughs> not You're retired. Me. You just oh, can't have to do anything. Uh -huh, whatever. So we extended our di our stay here when we went into the office on Monday because we were supposed to have big winds. Yeah. Hasn't been like it was supposed to be, no. has it? Uh -uh. No, it's going to save it all for our travel day coming up this week. Yeah. No, this next week. Yeah. So Tuesday you had the work meeting, and I've been kind of working on some of our personal bookkeeping stuff, and uh, I decided, okay, I need to clean out the medicine cabinet. I've been meaning to do it for a while, so I just took everything out, put it on the bed, and kind of went through everything. I had a grocery bag full of garbage, you know, expired stuff, packaging that we didn't need. and. Do you do stuff like that, or do you clean stuff out daily and weekly and monthly? Do you do that, or do you just, all of a sudden, it's like, okay, we need to clean this out. <laughs> it's a mess. Yep. Things are falling out. I need to clean this out. We want to know what you do. You know what we do. We let it go till you can't shut the damn door anymore. Not that bad. <laughs> yeah, it almost is. Not that bad. <laughs> so, and then uh, you tried fixing the window on the truck again. Oh, we went God. got a... Don't a, get me started. Another part that we thought would, would do it. You know, you keep watching YouTube videos and people that have had the same issue as you. And then you go and you fix what they fixed and it worked. And ours doesn't work. And again, it doesn't work. I think the last straw is we're going to have to check the wires. Right? Isn't that the last thing now? Yeah. I, In the door. The motor works because the window goes up and down when it wants to. So I think there is a broken wire someplace. Yeah, and it's not the relay because that's what we just changed. Yeah, change the relay. And you know what's kind of crazy is you go and buy a relay and it's got like this little handle tab on it. That you can't break off. You it's can't break part, off or slide it off. part of the case. And I think it was meant there for it to be easier for you to pull the relay out. Well, the cover to where all the relays go won't go back on because that thing's too big. So Tom took it back. He says, this, yeah. this isn't going to work. And it didn't fix the issue anyway. Anybody that has, <clears throat> I know, I'm going to get slammed. Anybody that has a Ford truck, okay, this is an old, it's a 23-year-old truck. It's a 2000 F350 dually and it has the driver's side auto switch for the window. Which 99% of your cars do these and days. And it seems right? that all these Ford trucks have issues with the window. Either a window bounce or the window goes down and won't go up or it'll go up and won't go down only on occasions and only when it really wants to. And the so, thing is, we've had that problem with this truck since we bought it. Yeah, the day we took it off the lot. It and we was brought it this. back, told them we needed that fixed, and they fixed it. But no, because nah. it started doing it again like right after, and it was like, forget it. We're not even going to deal with that. 
Um, but recently it's just got to be a pain in the arse, and so I'm trying to fix it, trying to track it down, and really the wiring is the last thing. From, from the, the door switch, through the door, through the, uh, the boot, through the boot, into the dash. That's going to be the last thing, and I don't want to get into the dash. It's got to be the boot where the door opens and closes, you know. It's a driver's side door. How many times has that thing been open and closed in 23 years? Sooner or later, those wires, even in the boot, they're going to get brittle and they're going to snap. It's yep. got to be that. Yep, so... So that's the next project. That's, that's, a, that's, that's a big one. That's it's going to take each wire and test them. I and, think that that's an at-home in Reno project. Yeah. Because like, if we screw it up somehow... We gotta have our truck available. Well, you can still drive with well, the window down. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We'll be looking like the Beverly Hillbillies with oh, it all taped up and plastic in the window. <laughs> Cause you'll be cold. Oh, stop it! Here comes Tom and Lori. Look. <laughs> look at that paper, that plastic window they have. <laughs> anyway, we'll get it figured out. Um, and then uh, Wednesday, I kind of did a little bit more of the bookkeeping stuff, and and then we were just just kind of just been, kicking back and chilling, chilling and not really doing a lot. It's been a nice, relaxing stay here at this RV park. It really has. And you and I were talking about the RV park today, about the sites and how they are different from a lot of RV parks that we have stayed in. And I think what we should do, we should go out and do a video and do a little tour of this RV park. Yep. It's just interesting. For as many sites as there are, <clears throat> the way that they're crammed in here, they're spacious. Mm -hmm. They really are. Each site, if that makes any sense. They're well, crammed in here, but they're spacious. Well, you've got your your RV, and then there's a concrete patio, and then you park your vehicle next to that, but and then is the then, next area. Then the next one's there. Yeah. But we'll, we'll do video and show them. I think yep. we really should, because it's, it's yep. actually a good RV park. Yep. Not, not too bad. Um, and it's cheap. Shh. <laughs> Gosh. Who was it we were watching the other day? And they were talking about how wonderful someone... Oh, I think it was somebody talking about how wonderful Yuma is. Oh, I know who it was. And should I, I say? Or should we just no, let it go? No. <laughs> and it was like, shh, stop telling people. There's already enough here. <laughs> They're just being kind and sharing. But, yeah. Uh, yeah, Yuma's horrible. You won't like it. <laughs> Don't come to Yuma. Uh, oh, geez. <laughs> we love it anyway, here. Anyway, <laughs> yeah, we have really come to love coming down here in the wintertime. So, um, and then Thursday we had some fun. We did. We did. We got to go and this play was a blast. Mexican Train with Dave and Sherry Meek. Yeah. Dave slash Richard and Sherry Meek. Whatever you want to call him. <laughs> Just don't call them late for dinner. Um, <laughs> that's how the saying goes, right? Just yeah, don't call me late for dinner. That's close. Okay. Anyway, we went and played Mexican Train. Now, you've heard us talk about playing Mexican Train with Dave and Bob and Pearl and Dawn, and that's kind of all that we've. Yeah, I think so. That there might be a few other played ones. That, played that game. Well, yeah, with um, Dawn and Rick. Dawn and Rick, yes, because yeah. Dawn gave us the yeah. racks that we have. Yeah. Thank you so much. They've come in so handy. Yes. But we and um, I think we played with Scott and Shauna too. When, I do believe when we, we did. We were all together at one time. So we've played with those people, but kind of playing Dave's rules, right? Except yeah. for when with yeah. With Bob and Pearl and Don. Our Endeavors Day. Yep. So we went and played with um, Dave and Sherry. They have way totally different. Way oh of man! It was so interesting. It was a lot of fun because it really made us think because they're used to playing that way. And for us, it was like, oh wait a minute, oh wait a minute. There hmm. are so many different I avenues. I, I think I counted like eight different. You know, when you when you play with four people, yeah. you've got four streams of dominoes to play off of. Not this way. I mean, you can you can put a domino sideways that's a double, and you can play off of that in addition to the stream coming down. And that if everybody's nice. got those, there's there's there could be <laughs> fifty different ways to play a domino. Yeah, it gives you. Oh a lot. my god! And you only start off with seven. <laughs> yeah. So it was really it was really a lot of fun. Oh. If anybody wants more details, um, we can we can tell we you. We started about it. we 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 started <laughs> writing down all the rules that 
we started making up for yeah. the game. So all the ones that we did when we played with Bob and Pearl and Dave and Don, and then um, okay, so this side of the paper is all the different ones with Bob and Pearl, Dave and Don, and this whole side is <laughs> Dave, and, Dave Sherry. and Sherry's side. We love their rules. Yeah, it's like, it was a lot of fun. This is interesting. <laughs> it's so much fun, Lear learning or even making up different rules oh, to yeah. game, oh. so that you can you just kind of extend it and make it in keep it interesting. Oh my gosh! So it was a lot of fun. She made this delicious taco dip it kind was of like stuff a with, for chips. A what do you layered, used to call it? Like a layered dip, layered like a seven dip. layer dip that. But she didn't use beans. She no. used the ground beef with some taco seasoning on yeah. the bottom layer, and oh, it was just so good. Yeah. It was so good. So we had, we had a wonderful <laughs> time, and Bear and Max, their dog, got to play yeah. and well visit with each other. They both pretty much snoozed the Snooze whole time. Fest for them. But uh, it was it was uh, a lot of fun. Thank you so much for inviting us. We appreciate over. you guys we appreciate very much. It. That was fun. Yep. And then yesterday was grocery day. So grocery day is kind of a, uh, a long day for me, you know, because anybody that lives in an RV knows when you bring your groceries home, you kind of have to repackage stuff to okay, get it to stop. fit everywhere. What? I know I don't spend my whole life repackaging Here things. we go with the repackaging the packaged food and things like that. If you haven't seen that video, I'm gonna link, I'll dig it up. I'm going to no, link that video it. below. It's so old. It's an old video. But we, we've gotten so many views off of this video and so many comments. Go watch this video. Don't about, read the comments. Just about. watch the video and have your own frame of mind. This was a long time ago. But some of the things I still do the same. So I do kind of repackage stuff. I mean, we buy in bulk too so yeah. that we save money. So I'll buy a big package of chicken and I'll separate it, all the, the chicken breasts out and... When um, we buy fruit and stuff, I, I wash it in a um, white vinegar solution, and it helps keep the fruit to last longer. Yeah. Have you so, ever tried that? So I do that, it's, yeah. Do you have any tips for making fruit last a little longer than it does? Yeah, that was, um, I just use uh, about a quarter cup of white vinegar and maybe a gallon mm -hmm. worth of water, and I wash the berries, you know, soak them up in that, and then I rinse them off, and then repack, dry them out, and then repackage them. And um, I have noticed how much longer the fruit lasts when I do that. So we yeah, had doing that and splitting up the meat, and uh, I make burgers out of the turkey ground turkey that we do, mm -hmm. and um, pre-made burgers. They're already made. I have those old Tupperware little what do you call it? containers, yeah. and. Um, so it makes it nice. I get them all ready to go. And sometimes all I'll do is I'll just take a couple of those out and do tacos with just a couple of the burgers worth instead mm -hmm. of making a whole pound of, of burger. Yeah. And so anyway, just putting everything away and getting everything situated kind of takes me, you know, a few hours to get. I'll spend my whole life doing it. <laughs> but it Watch makes, the video. Link below. <laughs> I Doing it that day <laughs> makes it easier and shorter all through the next few weeks mm -hmm. before I go grocery shopping mm -hmm. again. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Hey, when I sold Tupperware, they used to encourage that where you do like a, a whole day's worth of cooking and you have plan overs, they called them, instead of leftovers. They're plan overs. So you plan to have this on this day. Dave would do well with this because he likes his. Yeah. But he loves <clears throat> cooking every day. So. That's true. But we're way off topic. Yes. <laughs> so you. Uh, so grocery day. Yeah, it was grocery day. I got all so the groceries put away. while she's in here repackaging packaged food, I decided to go out to the truck because I noticed the other day when we're driving around another issue, the windshield uh, washer stopped working and I thought okay I've run it dry which I thought I did so I filled the the reservoir back up and nothing what dribbles out of the passenger side nothing out of the driver's side so I took the hose off blew into the hose 
and remember I blew yeah. into the end of the hose and it pushed a little bit out so then I traced the hose up underneath the the front next to the cab squeezed it together and finally got it to work took yeah, a paper clip and stuck it down into the outlet yeah, to clean it out sprayer. <clears throat> it still doesn't spray like it did before but it sprays not as strong but it's it's, it's working weird. so we I don't know, know we know the motor's okay and it could be part of the hose that part that you saw was kind yeah. of gritty maybe it's yeah. just it's yeah. 23 year old hose <laughs> yes it is <laughs> Don't go there. <laughs> you so know, you, hoses don't last that long. <laughs> <laughs> See, you, you, <laughs> oh, so you, uh, you also... It, well, got, when we went out looking for RV parks last week, and we had to drive through mud <clears throat> for a couple of them, especially when we went out to Fortuna Lake slash Pond, and I decided I'm going to get a big bucket of hot water and a rag and get rid of some of the mud off of the... The yeah, low you're part not of supposed the truck. to wash vehicles here, but yeah. you know that's with your hose out there yeah. spraying it. I'm sure a little spot washing is okay. So that's all I did was spot but wash, get the mud off the bottom of the truck. It actually looks like I washed the truck almost now that that's just by gone. cleaning that part off. <laughs> and then he's looking at the outside of this, and there's this little molding, and so all this quartzite dust is has settled still on that. On and it. he walks up and he goes, Ah, oh, dang, I should have done that. But so, he still has a few more days to do that. That's a project so. for today or tomorrow. Yeah. Get another hot bucket of water, not even soapy water, just water and just get rid of some of the dust along some of the cracks and crevices on the RV. So here's something that we do. Looks like we have brown trim right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so when your socks get holes in them, do you just toss them in the garbage? We don't. We save them for rags. And then we just throw it away. So... Mm -hmm. That way we don't have to worry about washing it, but yeah. yet we've got old rags to uh, clean yucky stuff, and we don't have to worry about cleaning it. We just throw it away. Throw it away. Don't and if you that. have one sock with a hole and the other one that doesn't have a hole, do you throw them both away, or do you just save the good one? Well, it depends on if you have the Whether it matches sense. or not, do you save it and wear it? Well, if they're white socks like you wear... Sometimes he'll pull one on, he'll pull the other one on and go, these aren't a pair. <laughs> they fit, but they're not a pair. Nobody, like, and nobody knows but, but him. But who cares? Nobody knows but him. <laughs> Some of them are so similar, you just, it doesn't really matter. Um, real quick, before we get into Passport America, there is a uh, football game this weekend, the, the very is. last football game. And I know a lot yeah. of people that that do build up the whole weekend and they have big parties or or they you know the guys have their specific place in the house or things like that you know the big man cave and they've got oh, all yeah. the bells and whistles and yeah. things like that go sell it go hang so out in their man cave she was yeah she's like so you know hang out in your man cave and i said well you should go hang out in your woman cave and she goes well what is the equivalent of the man cave i said well that's the kitchen that's why I'm always telling you, get out of my kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Passport America. We're Passport America members, and we have an affiliate link for Passport America below. If you click through and join Passport America, using our link below, you get a one-year membership. And in addition to paying for your one-year membership, three months will be tacked onto that membership for you for free. Now, we're going to get a little kick. Not much, but a little kick. A few pennies here and there. But it's a great opportunity for full-time and part-time RVers. If you're a weekend RVer, it really won't do you much good because of all the restrictions that Passport America puts on their overnight stays. But for full-timers and even part-timers that travel half a year, Passport America is a great option. It'll save you 50% off the listed price for just about any park that is a Passport America park. Check and, the link below. And you usually make your money back on your very first stay. First or second stay. Well, yeah. we were researching RVing way back when. Um, we, you know, heard about Passport America and this club and that club and Good Sam and blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. And we were com doing pros and cons. <clears throat> well, when we looked at Passport America, it was like, well, you can't do it here and you can't do it then and you can't do it then. And it was like, well, this isn't going to work. And then we got out there and we're like, oh, it would work for us because we don't have to stay there on a weekend. Exactly. We don't have to stay there during holidays, you know, so 
their restrictions really didn't restrict us. Yeah. And so we have found that it's an awesome plan to be with. Now keep in mind, just because it's a Passport America Park doesn't mean that it's glamorous. And you won't get the premier spots in that park. They generally put you along railroad tracks, along the busy highways, or the busy entrance, but it's 50% off. Hey, yep. you want to save money? Use our link below yep. and click through and use that. We would appreciate it. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> well, you will thank yourself for doing it, too, because ah. it is very cost effective. So what's for breakfast today? I don't know. Oh, you know what? What? I should make you a couple of gold nuggets. We bought some yesterday. What? We mortgaged. Oh, yeah, we, we did. We sold a car and we, had, we bought an 18 pack of eggs. We had to call the bank and say, can we afford this? So, ooh, golden nuggets for breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. See, See ya. Take your bed. I'm not really going to make you eggs. That's what? For, <laughs> that's for tomorrow. <laughs>